Hi, I'm Karen from Liongate Farm, and today I'm going to teach you how to make this adorable little sheep heart ornament. It's a very basic, easy, easy project. Okay, so today we're going to make this adorable sheep heart ornament, and you can make them any color you want. They're a basic heart shape. If you're not comfortable making a freestyle heart shape, you can use a cookie cutter, but it's pretty easy to make. I'll show you easy, fast way. And then we're gonna build this 3D sheep on top of it, add some locks, then we'll add a little ribbon for a hanger and a little bell. All right, let's get started. So first you're gonna need core wool. That's always your base, is your core wool. And you'll need a little bit of white if you have it. You can use core wool if you don't. You'll need the color you're gonna make your heart. We're gonna make ours this aqua color. And then a little bit of pink for the details. A little bit of curly locks of some kind. These are Blue Face Lester from our own sheep. Then you'll need a little ribbon to string through for a hanger with a needle. A little ribbon here. Oh, I'll have to do that later. Then I, I put a little bell on this little piece of hand spun that I will felt right into the heart. You need a Sharpie marker, my secret weapon, a little bit of blush, and we'll get to that. And then you need your felting needles. I'm using a 38 star spiral and I have a multi-tool loaded with just a 38 triangle today. So let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna do is build this heart shape. Take a little length of your core wool. Kind of figure out how big you want your heart. So we're going to go about that big. Fold it in half. This is going to be the bottom down here. Start stabbing. Since this is a basic project, I'll go over the basics. You want to make sure your needles are going straight in, straight out. We're just going to make our basic shape first. Another piece of core wool about the same size, and it's going to go on this side. How you can make this heart however big you want. Mine end up about three inches across. Let's use multi tool and we can go a little faster. This is just our base. I like to stab in from the sides, just give it a little height. Remember, you're always gonna flip your project over. It will stop looking like a heart when you flip it over. Your job is to keep stabbing until it does. I'm gonna add a little bit more to this top part of the heart. Make sure both sides are the even thickness. Keep peeling it off, going back and forth until you get this heart nice and solid. I want you to keep working those sides in.
this is another good project that kids can do. I would draw out a heart for them as a template. So they know how much fiber to use and how big to make it. And again, if you're letting kids, if you're teaching kids how to do this, you want to supervise them. These needles are sharp. You can see it's starting to take shape. Now this does not have to be a very firm, hard project. You see this is kind of squishy. These guys are, are pretty squishy. You can just squish them. So once you get it into the shape you want it, And work in the edges and you want all the thickness to be pretty similar all the way around. This is just your filling. We're going to take our color wool. And this is Coriadale. An aqua Coriadale. Nice spring color. And we're going to wrap this tip just a little bit. heart will continue to get firmer the more that you poke it. I've kind of decided that this is the back. And so since the back, you can see the whole back, I want to make sure that all the white is covered on this back side of the tip. On the front, it's not going to matter so much because we have locks covering that. Keep adding here. Wrapping this fiber around. You're just going to keep doing this until you can't see any more white.
The reason I keep breaking pieces off instead of wrapping the whole entire heart multiple times is because I don't want it that thick. So I'm just adding a little bit at a time. Remember, you can always add, but you can't take it away. spot on the side. I'm just working it around, making this nice and around, round shape here on the edges because I don't want it flat. I want it to just curve around. Most of learning to needle felt is learning which way these needles push the wool as they enter and combine with the other fibers. Something that takes practice, lots of practice. Hearts are a good thing to practice on because it teaches you how to make that round part. Okay, now we're gonna cover the other half.
I'm poking towards the center of the heart, which helps maintain its size so it doesn't grow to be bigger. Always working from the outside in. goal here is to get it nice and smooth. By using the multi-tool we can do that. The more noodles you have, the smoother it'll get. Okay, so after about five minutes of poking and adding fiber here and there, we have a nice squishy heart. I'm going to use this as the front. So we went from this, we covered it with this, and now we're going to take some white and we're going to build this little head. And you know, you can use, you can use anything to do this on. We're going to use the handle of this. You can use a skewer. We're going to go a little bit fat here. We're making a little cone. We're going to pull it off. Just like we've done in the past. Well, probably should have secured that first. And we're going to poke it on about a half an inch from the bottom. You want to start poking this little cone on. It needs to tuck in the top. Tuck this top in. It needs to end up being a triangular shape with the widest part here at the top. Firm, but you want to maintain some height because this is a 3D kind of little sculpture here. And this is just our base. Let's get this stabbed in. From the side now, I'm going to add a little bit more white. I'm just going to take this and make a little stack. We're going to make, put it over the top. And what this does is it smooths out our little head here. Again, I'm working from the outside in. doesn't look like a very good nose yet but I need this a little bit wider up at the top so I'm gonna add a little bit more
So if you look at this from the top, you can see that's the sheep's head. That's its whole skull. Now we're going to add a tiny bit down here to smooth out his, his or her little nose. Keep your pieces flat, not lumpy. It's okay to hold this one in your hand while you're, there's a little black fiber there I don't want in my sheep head. It's okay to hold it in your hand because unless you're stabbing very deeply, the likelihood of the needle going into your hand is pretty slim because it's a good inch wide. Now I'm, I'm stabbing shallow because I want it nice and smooth. Okay, next we're gonna add some ears. You're gonna take a little, about an inch and a half piece Make two little stacks. We're going to draw our ears. You want these guys to be about three quarters of an inch long. Draw them next to each other so that they're the same. Fold the tip down. Stab it in. Fold the side over. Stab it in. That gives you a nice smooth line. You don't need them attached to each other. Folding in that excess also builds up this little ear. Don't want them super thick. Want them pretty thin. Let's do this, get this one before we flip them. Flip it over, work from this side, get it nice and smooth. front side. Now we're going to take that pink that we brought out and add just a little tiny pink inside the ears. Keep it thin. You don't want these ears fat. They don't have fat ears. At least my sheep don't. They have very thin ears. My sheep have big ears. Okay, so to attach this, we're going to put it pink facing down. Oh, wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. I said that wrong. Pink facing down across the face. And we're going to start poking this in. Poke all this extra into the head. Gonna flip this ear back out. I kind of squeeze it together. Again, I'm poking it into the head, into the head, into the heart. that with the second ear. Again, across the head. You want it going right about here. 
gather up all this extra fringe. Poke it down into this crevice. Pretty amazing how fast it'll disappear. Now that ear looks way too big, but we're gonna make it all disappear. This ear has lost its point, so I'm going to work it a little bit. I'm working these stray fibers from the back of the ear in down into the heart. Okay, now I forgot to mention you're going to need a bit of black at the very beginning, and we're going to Stab two little spots where his eyes are going to go. And we're going to take just a tiny bit of black. We're going to roll it into two little balls, just like we always do. Catch all those spare fibers with your needle. You can go in a circle. and make them the same size. Those are not the same size. So we're gonna add a little bit more. Now we're going to make a tiny little nose out of this pink. You're going to take off a little piece. You're going to roll it in your fingers. Bend it in half. What you're going to do is find, it's going to be about as wide as the nose. You're going to stab it right here in the center. And that will bring these two ends up. And that is not enough fiber, so I'm going to add some more. Do the same thing. So what we're doing is we're mirroring the size of our heart out here. And I always start with a lesser amount of fiber and build it up. This takes a little bit of finagling. Basically, you're making a V, but it looks like a heart when we're done.
And then I want you to poke a line down the front of the nose. Just poke that line. If you're feeling extremely good at this, which I never am, you can use fiber, but I always use a Sharpie for this part because I like these lines to be nice and sharp. You get it had your little little mouth. And my sheep need freckles. Now we're going to put his little body on. So take your little curls that you have. And you know, they don't even have to be curls. You could just use white wool. And starting about where you drew the freckles, I want you to just start poking them in. And you're gonna go only down Far on the side of your heart. I gather them up with my needle and poke them in. I want to maintain the curls that you see in the locks. If you felt and felt and felt these curls, they'll disappear. So you don't want to over felt them. Right here around the mouth, you want them to be pretty, pretty well felted so you can still see the mouth. Right to the point of the heart. Kind of drawing an imaginary line right there. Some on this side. And I'm imagining like a line there. Gathering up all these little fibers off the locks. And then we're gonna take your piece of yarn with the little bell you see, this is too long, but oh, I'm gonna peel those locks off and I'm gonna tuck this under here and pull them back up. This is wool, so it's gonna felt right in, wool yarn. And tack it down. the 
same thing over here since I placed them and I haven't totally felted them in yet. Just tuck that all in under there. She can't see it. If you use ribbon, you might have to put a little drop of glue. If you use ribbon for the bell. That's why I prefer to use the yarn because I can felt it on. And you need to find one nice little lock to go on the top of his head. Lots of sheep breeds make locks. Blueface Lester makes some of the tiniest locks. So do a tea, breed Teeswater. So if you're out shopping for those kind, you should be able to find some pretty tiny locks to make these little sheep. The last thing we're gonna do is put the little hanger on. Let's have a little piece of three eighths inch, this isn't three eighths, this is quarter inch ribbon. I'm just going to thread it on this needle. And I like them to hang this way. So like if you're going to put on a Christmas tree, it'll hang, or any kind of tree, it'll hang straight. So we're going to thread it through this side. And through this side. This is not always the easiest thing to pull through. So you got to work that needle. And then we're just going to knot it at the top. There you have it. One little sheep ornament. Oh, wait. I forgot one thing. I forgot one thing. You don't have to do this, but I like to do this. Take a little teeny bit of blush. Put it on those cheeks. Now it's done. If you like our videos and you want to support us, the best thing that you can do is subscribe to our YouTube channel and um, like everything. And then if you need supplies, visit my farm store at liongatefarm.org and shop away. See you next week.